vlog. So um, it's the next morning. I'm so upset. <laughs> so upset. Uh, I feel like it would be me, the one that get sick on a trip. Because nobody else got sick but me. And what's so funny about the whole situation, I really took extra precautions um, to not get sick. <laughs> by what, I, when, what I mean by extra precautions is the food I was being picky with when I was eating. But the girl has a stomach virus. Uh, this is going to be a trigger warning for anybody who has, uh, you know, weak stomachs sensitive stomachs whatever you want to call it so you might want to fast forward through this part because i was going to tell y'all what happened last night fast forward a little bit i'm not gonna go too crazy but so um yeah basically once we left the restaurant y'all uh well okay first of all i'm gonna tell you what i even ordered at the restaurant because it was a seafood buffet type place. first of all i really don't like but i really don't even like buffets and i don't like seafood so already i was like <laughs> i should maybe i should i don't know i was thinking because i was debating between getting these ribs too i'm like i wonder if i would have got sick if i ordered the ribs i don't know because it's still kind of unknown but i'm pretty sure that is the reason why i got sick or what i got sick from so anyways guys literally fucking um i'm trying to let me mute the tv because i'm get distracted <laughs> so we went to the buffet place y'all as y'all saw i ordered these fillets i thought i forgot the name of the fish tilapias whatever those fish was called that's what i ordered it was just four of them and then some french fries she gave me extra french fries because i was supposed to pick two sides but i didn't like the options so i was just looking for some extra french fries <laughs> with some tartar sauce and ketchup that's it y'all i didn't even barely eat that food because i was already previously kind of fool because we went to that candy shop and i don't know i just i wasn't really that full and but it could have been the zaxby's because this morning what we ate was some zaxby's because i swear ever since i ate that zaxby's that morning because i didn't like my sandwich by the way ordered this it's called a specialty sandwich a special sandwich the deluxe sandwich, whatever i don't know i think it was called a specialty sandwich from zaxby's i've never ate any of their sandwiches like that besides the niblets meal that's the closest i come to any of their sandwiches but i'm like let me try something new and yeah i didn't really like it but i ate damn near all of it until i had like this much love for the the chicken but i was just like nah fuck it because it had this little hot sauce stuff on it and and I ran out of bun, so I wasn't just gonna eat this chicken by itself with all this hot stock stuff on it. But I had a good, a good bit. I was trying not to waste food, y'all, because it wasn't terrible. It was, if it didn't have that hot sauce stuff on it and it didn't have those prickles on it, it would have been bust. It would have been kind of like a chick fil sandwich. So, but ever since I did eat that, I'm not gonna lie, my ass has been um, bubbly. My, not my bubbly, it's just I've been gassy. I've been really kind of gassy ever since then. But that's nothing really unusual with me. <laughs> like, if you know me personally, I'm a gassy person. So, you know, it didn't bring off any red flags that I was really gassy the whole, throughout the whole rest of the day. We went out. But I put it this way, I was gassy, but my stomach wasn't hurting. It wasn't cramping or nothing. I felt normal. I was just farting. Uh, so, once we got home both of us immediately went to the bathroom um she went to the bathroom and i went to the bathroom y'all when i tell you i'm just like oh that was such a good release i felt good everything was straight actually i fell asleep fell asleep and everything i got a phone call i talked to my friend on the phone for a good 30 minutes and i swear after we the moment we got off the phone my stomach started I'm like, what's going on? Is it because I'm gassy? But now it's to the point like, nah, it's a little more than gassiness. I got diarrhea, y'all. So I'm going to the bathroom. I feel it right now. Actually, I need to go ahead and speed this video up. Um, fucking 
I'm going to the bathroom, I'm going to the bathroom, I'm going to the bathroom. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, yeah. That's not good. Because <laughs> once I keep having diarrhea back to back to back to back, immediately my mouth going to start watering. Hold on, I got to use it. Okay, see, I'm back. Um, anyways, uh, where was I? Talk about, oh, once I woke up, yeah, I had diarrhea. Oh, then my mouth, yeah. I don't know. I haven't been doing that today um or anything but usually if i first first start having diarrhea and it just started happening yeah um my mouth would start to water but i was try to you know think about something else because if y'all don't y'all should know the lighting here is so bad the lighting right here is a lot better i just didn't want to hold my phone in my hand but i'm tired of looking at how terrible i look um <laughs> not for real um but yeah y'all know what that means when your mouth started watering and stuff like that usually i can fight it and stuff like that and i did it a few times i was just like okay let me think about something other or let me um i was thinking because i don't have any gum but that's something i i would do and i would recommend like if you feel like you're gonna throw up your mouth start watering or whatever put some gum in your mouth like just get your mind off of that and you'll feel back kind of normal um, but that was probably like the third or fourth time I'm out order again. I was just like, oh my gosh, fuck it. I really just hope I stuff in my head. I was just like, fuck it, because I'm tired, because it keeps happening over and over. Apparently, I need to throw up type shit. So, what I started doing is what I found myself like doing because it felt good. The moment I sit on the toilet, my stomach would feel better type shit. So what I started doing was I just I was just literally just starting to now put the lid, you know, put the uh, cover, the lid on the toilet, just sit on the lid of the toilet. Not actually, you know, using the bathroom or anything, just sitting on the toilet and my stomach was feeling better, I guess my body in that position or whatever. But that like I said, but like I said, now I'm at the point now I'm my hoarder. But long story short, girl, I was just saying fucking I had to throw up. And instead of me trying to jump out from the toilet and lift the toilet seat up and throw up in the toilet seat um or throw up in the toilet y'all yeah, ran to the sink and threw up in the sink don't do that shit <laughs> anyways guys um i'm gonna see if i can just drink the rest of this water i don't, I don't have that much love um my grandma to call up my grandma I told her I said this shit sucks <laughs> we had so much shit planned for today now I'm trying I don't even know if I really want to do it because even now like y'all can tell my energy is low me too I'm gonna get in the shower uh I'll catch y'all later y'all look at the boat that's so cool I really want to get on one okay guys so i am dressing everything i'm just edges real quick and they told me they on the way so i was just um catch y'all probably when they get here hey vlog so i'm in this soup place right now well they sell soup i don't know if it's specifically <laughs> just they sell you know it's not a soup place they sell soup but they sell the stuff too but yeah i just wanted to get me some soup something real light i should see if they have well they do they have like some bread and stuff they got sandwiches i wonder if they just got like toast but i'm not really a big toast person i'm not gonna lie but i know that's one of the things they said eat uh when you know you got diarrhea and stuff so um yeah and they're going to a mexican restaurant i said fuck no first of all don't like mexican food either and that's one of the first things they say don't eat because i google i'm like what are things you should and should eat when you know you got a stomach virus or diarrhea and they definitely said don't eat no spicy food so hey vlog so we are officially at the beach we're gonna walk around some because they have like a lot of plazas and shops around here and then you know we gotta take our pictures i got my little bathing suit in my hand right now and yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all later.
home. I'm not even starting to afford it. Hey guys. <laughs> so we just left this haunted house. I had to change my shoes. I'm like, literally y'all, my shoes broke. But how do you, how would you rate the haunted house? The first time <laughs> was not, it, it wasn't what we thought because we had a whole bunch of kids running over us and backing into us and, and pushing, pushing us. us. But the second time was definitely fun because we started with a group and ended up by yourself. Yeah. So we are back home. Um, basically, I got a little haul. I can show y'all what I got for the haul. So this is what I got. First bit I got from mom. Two piece. And here, very fuzzy. Second, I was thinking about that for just the pants. Giving very much Instagram vibes, bone and budget. So, do you? You see it, everything you got? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but this is right? This shirt. So this shirt, on top of this shirt, look at that, then, I already know, I already know, hey, so just, imagine like the whole fit, busting is all I gotta say. <gasps> I got some purple crocs. I got some purple crocs too today. That's a whole fit in itself. Uh. And I bought these little croc charms. These like pom poms. Yo, I just now bag for some H&M. And I'm oh, this one's really small. So <laughs> I actually have. A Care Bear jumpsuit that would match this so perfectly for this. So that's why I got that. This is the last one too, so. Her. Why they snapped on this sweater. Yes. Now, this is gonna go like this. Hold, hold on. Your shirt. 
Yeah, that's a cute. That bright shirt is cute. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get this from? Who's what you want? Oh, okay. That yeah, is cute. That's so cute. Are you doing a haul? Yeah. Okay. Let us know it's a lot. Snap. Oh, oh, and the last one. I just thought this was cute. This reminds me of another little pink shirt I have. It's like a little pink ruffle shirt, shirt and it's like a pastel pink, but it says baby girl. But this is like really just a cute, cute little shirt. Like, I don't know. It's giving me just enough for me it is. Like I can see like me, I don't know, wearing a pink skirt with it. Some little clips. And I got I haven't seen one. Can you see kind of something like this? This goes taller. Like, I can see this, like, just up or down. Like, it's gonna be. That's what it's giving. Yeah. Next piece. So, again, this one, because I just like to there at this point. This is so cool. Oh, I'm kind of imagining with some purple pants. I want to see if. American Eagle and I snapped on this hat. Look at this. Look at her. Like white CK ish. It is. And then this with boom this shirt. Hey vlog, so yeah, it's really the next day. <laughs> I was gonna vlog uh, the trip back home, but um, I just decided not to because I was kind of tired because we did get up early to leave and uh, we had a little um, mishap where um, literally her uh, air and her tires kept going down. So literally, um, we went to a tire shop that morning and the girl had to end up getting two brand new tires because her tires was that fucked up, y'all. Like the rim was bent, the tire itself had a nail in it, and I think he said the alignment was like completely worn off. So we was we was pretty lucky we even made it the way we made it, cause I'm like, girl. The this is the end of the video like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video because i'm gonna see you look exactly like that probably starting the next video bye <laughs>